I'm Bill Hayes. I'm in the Department of Earth and Biological Sciences. I grew up in Maryland and uh, got interested in, in biology there. Taught at Southern for five years, Southern Adventist University, then ended up here. And this is where I just soon spend the rest of my career. This is a ball python from Africa. And uh, if you have a close-up of the lips, he's got some uh, little indentations, some little pits. And those pits are actually eyes that is able to see the three-dimensional shape of warmth in the environment. I think the career chose me. I just think that uh, it was there in my genes and my environment, and it just brought it out in me. I mean, studying nature is fun and exciting for me. I mostly study snakes, but uh, also other venomous animals like spiders and scorpions and centipedes. I, I let my students do much of that work. This is a Hadrus scorpion, a desert hairy scorpion from Southern California here. At the moment, you're really looking at a black light shined on the animal to show how it fluoresces. Uh, there's a substance in the cuticle, the, the skin, that causes this fluorescent appearance, and it's, it's really dramatic. And Jared is studying how much venom they use when they sting, whether it's defensive or predatory, or even during courtship when the male stings the female to help calm her down. The venom is fairly mild, so if Jared were to get stung here, he probably wouldn't fall over dead for a couple hours. No, <laughs> it, he wouldn't die at all. He would just turn beet red, perhaps. This is Vietnamese centipede, Spolopendra subspinipes. This is one of the quite large ones, although this is a medium-sized specimen, they got a few inches larger. And stinging comes from the front, he has two modified legs right in the front, and those grab on and inject the venom. Well, I like Loma Linda University because it's, it's a, uh, in our program in particular, it's pretty relaxed. I mean, we do what we like doing and we don't get caught up in politics and, and uh, there's no fighting amongst faculty and students. The pressure's not real strong to to uh, perform, I mean, we can, we can do research because we really want to do it. And, um, and I think it works best that way. This is a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Uh, this, this occurs only in Southern California and then down into Baja, California. They're very dangerous, so you have to be very careful around them. Well, a lot of people believe that the baby rattlesnake is more dangerous than the adult because it cannot control how much ven venom it injects when it bites. And therefore, it, in it, it injects all the venom that it has. And that's just rubbish. It's just a myth. Uh, the truth is the baby rattlesnake has much less venom. And it can control, just as well as the adult probably, how much venom it uses when it bites. So we've been studying these here at Loma Linda for 15 years now. We've learned a lot about how they use their venom. This is an American alligator, just a juvenile. Look at those little teeth there. And that beautiful eye. Watch, watch what the eye does. See if I can get them to make a sound. Beautiful creatures. Aren't, aren't they better in real life than on a pair of feet? Yeah, I'd say look into us and learn what you can about us. Learn about our academic programs and, and what we do and the quality of the faculty. Talk to other students. It's always good to, I mean, you're going to get the most unbiased information from other students who have been through our program and know what we do, and, and, and that's, that's a great source of information.